service members from the Maryland Army and Air Guard and volunteers from the Maryland Defense Force and the Civil Air Patrol attended the change of command that passed the flag from Major General James A. Atkins to Major General Linda Singh, with Maryland Governor Larry Hogan presiding over the event. She is a tough, savvy, and resourceful commander, and I have every confidence in her ability General Singh takes the reins with a clear vision of the future. The things that I think has improved is one, the use of the Guard. We are truly now an operational force and that's not where we were when I joined. And so I am really going to be pushing and I think as well as, as many of us uh, of the other adjutant generals is pushing that operational view of the Guard. That is important because our people are here as volunteer forces. We have an all volunteer force and you know we, we didn't have that. Uh, when you think back into the 70s, we just didn't have that. And so in order for us to be able to sustain that all-volunteer force, that means that we're going to have to allow the Guard to continue to be relevant. And that, to me, is what's going to allow us to continue to go forward. As General Singh took on the mantle of leader for the Maryland Guard, General Atkins took his place in Maryland Guard history after a long and storied military career. I'm Army Staff Sergeant John Higgins, 29th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment.